Hi boys. Okay, now I'm gonna go through this. Um, how we manage to find the constant pi. Uh, something I taught in class. Okay. Now you see here two circles. Actually, they are identical circles. Uh, from the center O to the circumference of the circle, the radius is 5.5 cm. It's a bit small, but I think you all can zoom in a bit to see as well. Now, how did Archimedes actually find out about pi? What he did was actually something very ingenious, very smart. He took the whole circle, he broke it up into parts. He found that each portion, okay, each small part like this, when lined up to form a rectangle, can actually give the figure. And he actually broke the circle into 96 parts. I repeat, 96 parts. Now, um, not possible for me to do because I don't have a big enough circle. So what I did is actually I broke my circle into 16 parts. So it's a bit less accurate than Archimedes' circle. So what Archimedes did was this. He took the whole circle, he cut it into parts, and then he lined them up to form a rectangle. So what he did was this. Side by side, Six. This is number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, now you, you realize that if I put my number one here, the shape will be a bit awkward. So what I did is I took number one, I broke it into two pieces so that I have a more regular rectangle okay, on both sides. Okay, now Archimedes did this with his 96 pieces and he found something, he found that it forms quite a nicely shaped rectangle. Then he took a ruler, he measured okay, how long is the rectangle. And if, uh, if you measure this, you realize that this is 17.3. 17.3. So the length. Okay, let me zoom in for a while. Okay, so the length of this rectangle is 17.3 cm. Okay. How about the breadth? We know the breadth, which is here is actually the same as the radius okay because this is one part of the circle and from the circumference to the center of the circle it is exactly the same as the radius the breadth i told you earlier is actually 5.5 cm okay now after experimenting a few times okay archimedes actually found that the length is 3.14 of the radius okay 3.14 of course there's numbers after that but we, we keep it simple we'll keep to 3.14 let us prove his theory so the length is 17.3 cm divided by 5.5 cm okay what do we get 17.3 divided by 5.5 we get 3.145 okay so like I said, although usually with a 5 we round up, usually with a 5 we round up, but let's keep to the figure that we have always been given for pi, 3.14. Okay, so we'll take pi or the constant as 3.14. So what do we know? We know that the, rad the radius okay, plays a very important part. The length here will be 3.14 times of the radius or the breadth here. So. Um, let's try to find first the circumference of the circle. Now, as we know, circumference of a circle, if I have a circle, circumference of a circle is the outside of the circle, the outside of the circle, the perimeter of the circle. Now, when we cut our circle up into parts like this, all this, and here, are actually the circumference of the circle. If we rearrange it again, it will form back one whole circle again, like this, right? Now, so, we know the whole length here, and the whole length here is the circumference. 
Now, if that's the case, the length plus this length, so two length, this is of course the length of the rectangle, is the same as the circumference. If we work backwards, we realize something. If we, I put pi in, okay, and I know that the length of the rectangle, the length of the rectangle is pi times the radius. So this length is the same as pi times the radius. Now it's starting to take shape. It's starting to look like what we have learned for formulas for circumference because we know two length and we know that length is pi times radius. So circumference is actually 2 times pi times r equals to 2 pi r. Or as some of you are like, you are like to write down pi diameter because 2 of radius is the same as the diameter. Hence, we have shown okay, that that circumference formula is accurate. Okay, 2 pi r. Okay. Next, let's try to find area. Okay. There is no doubt at all that from this circle, when I cut it up, the area will remain the same. This is the area. There's no change in the area. There's no spare pieces. This is it. Normally, how would we find area of a rectangle. We will take the breadth times the length. Now, easily I know that the breadth is actually the radius. Correct? How about length? I told you already, length is 3.14 or pi times the radius. So times length, when I transfer, when I change it, it becomes pi times radius. Correct. This is the length pi times the radius. Okay. So working this out, what do I get? I get using algebra pi times r times r. I have rearranged it. Pi goes in front, the two radius down here. So what do I get? Pi r squared. Okay. Sorry, pi times r times r, and I have pi r squared. So once again, I prove that the formula is correct. Okay, this is the formula that we use for finding area of circle. And tada, we have proof once again that Archimedes is correct.